I think fundamentally there are two strategies to build on AI right now. There's one strategy, which is assume the model is not going to get better. And then you kind of like build all these little things on top of it. Um, and then there's another strategy, which is build assuming that open AI is going to stay on the same rate of trajectory and the models are going to keep getting better at the same pace. Um, it would seem to me that 95% of the world should be betting on the latter category, but a lot of the startups have been built in the former category. And then when we just do our fundamental job, which is make the model and its tooling better with every crank, then you get the open AI killed my startup meme. Yeah. Um, if you're building something on, open, on GPT-4 that a reasonable observer would say, if GPT-5 is as much better as GPT-4 over GPT-3 was, not because we don't like you, but just because we like have a mission, we're gonna steamroll you. But there's a giant set of startups where you benefit from GPT-5 being way better. And if you build those and AI progress keeps going the way that we think it's gonna go, I think for the most part, you'll be really happy. As an investor looking for an investment thesis that I'm actually lost, what are those that will not be steamrolled that I can invest in, Sam? Um, ask the company whether a uh, 100x improvement in the model is something they're excited about. We know the companies that come to us saying, we want the next model. When is it coming out? When is it coming out? I want to be the first to try it. It's going to be the best thing for my company. And then there's a lot of companies that we don't hear from on that, in that regard. Um, and I think that's like a pretty good delineation. Um, is if there's a clear path to how better intelligence, better underlying intelligence accelerates that product and that company, um, they should. The, most companies can tell that story really clearly. I talked uh, just this morning to an AI like medical advisor, I guess they would call it, um, and they were like, you know, here's the places the model's underperforming. It's still pretty useful for like these kinds of things, but if the model could just get like this much better on these metrics. Um, we'd have all these other businesses. So like, can you all do that faster? And then we can have like, you know, this like thing that'll save all these lives and give people who have not had access to medical care, like some access. And, you know, how soon can we get that? And, you know, here's how many people are dying every day you delay. It was an effective pitch actually. 